hey, you're awake. Good. Once we finally got you sedated, I thought for sure you'd be out for a week. <laughs> oh, those? Don't worry about those, I can take those off. Just one moment. They were for your own good, believe me. There we go. Let's see. Alright. How does that feel? Why don't I go ahead and get some circulation back into your hands? I have uh, some lotion right here. It's a nice healing balm that we make over in the apothecary hut. So if you'll go ahead and give me your hand. There we go. Perfect. Alright, I'm just gonna gently massage the palm of your hand, your wrist, gently but firmly. Mm. I should work those marks right out. Probably won't even leave a bruise. Just relax. So, how much do you remember? Well, we have a new apprentice herbalist, and uh, when they were preparing your vision tea, they accidentally added two tablespoons of the herbal blend to your tea instead of two teaspoons. Other hand? Yeah. Two novices who were working in the garden said that uh, you crashed through the isolation lodge wall and shouted, Oh yeah, before running into the woods. Yeah, you just disappeared. <laughs> Gonna squeeze on your wrist a little bit. How's that feel? Doesn't hurt too much? Good. Yeah. Well, you know, we're thinking about switching to the metric system anyway, so shouldn't happen again. All right, well, you're gonna be staying here with me until we patch up the huge sized hole in the isolation lodge wall. So, uh, for today, I'd like to evaluate your condition and, uh, clean up those scratches on your face, and then we're going to give you a thorough energy cleansing. How's that sound? All right. Right on. So, I'm going to start off by asking some questions. Just some standards questions for this kind of uh, escape. You know, you were out of our eyesight in the woods for quite a while, so we just want to make sure that you didn't run into anything unhealthy. So, let's see. Just answer honestly. How are you feeling right now? Mm-hmm. Go ahead and wiggle your toes and fingers for me. Anything working differently than it normally does? Are you experiencing any unusual aches or pains? Are you experiencing any nausea? Are you experiencing any unusual or intense cravings? You know, like sugar, vinegar, starchy foods, brains? I have to ask. All right. 
Well, that all checks out for now. So, um, what I'd like to do is just take a quick look at your eyes. Okay. So I'm going to start off by shining a light into your eyes. I just want to make sure that all that stuff we got into your system is completely out, so I need to see how your pupils are reacting to the light. Can you go ahead and look right at me? Okay. Perfect. I'm going to go shine light in your eye just for a moment. Okay. Look up. Look down. Left. Right. Perfect. Other side. Look up. Down. Left. Right. Perfect. Now, see my finger? I'd like you to go ahead and follow it with your eyes. Perfect. Keep following it. Great. All right. So, after doing a quick evaluation, I'm feeling very optimistic about your condition. Um, what I would like to do is go ahead and clean up those scratches on your face. I've mostly gotten all the dirt off of your face and out of the cuts. It looks like you ran into some branches or thorns. Do you remember? No? I'm not surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if you don't remember a single thing. That was a pretty intense dose of vision tea you had. I have a healing balm here. In this bowl, we prepared ourselves. And it's prepared by a master herbalist, so you don't have to worry about any mistakes in the preparation of it. I have a couple of activating ingredients, which I'll show you in just a moment. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this balm. I'm going to gently rub it over all your cuts and scratches on your face. Okay? It'll heal you right up. Sound good? Right on. So the first thing that I'm going to add is this. And this is just going to help activate the healing properties that are already in the healing balm. It's a special type of healing water. Among other things, it has had highly charged moonstones soaking in it for 13 days. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the cap off, add a little bit. Should be just enough. And then one final ingredient. Now, this isn't the kind of thing you would normally see this early in your training before you've technically even joined the commune, but special circumstances. This right here is a special. Invisibility Serum. It can do a great many things. 
great many different ways. But today, the way that we're going to use it, we're going to take just a few drops of it. And it'll make those cuts and bruises on your face. disappear. Perfect. Now, if you'll just go ahead and relax, kind of gently apply some of this to your forehead. Let me know if any of this hurts. It shouldn't. The cuts aren't too deep. Perfect. Now, let's see. Add a little bit down the bridge of your nose here. Running my fingers down your nose. There we go. Perfect. On this cheek. on your chin. Right here. Can you tilt your head back for me just a little bit? Perfect. Okay. Looking good. How do you feel? Right on. Now, I think we're going to do <clears throat> a couple different types of healings just to make sure we've really thoroughly cleansed your aura because who knows what you got into while you were out there. We're going to do a crystal healing and uh, that'll basically just direct some pure uh, spirit energies into you and it'll uh, cleanse out anything negative you might have run into in that regard. Then I'll go ahead and do a wand cleansing and I'll project some earth energies into you. Then uh, to finish it all off I'll probably do a simple aura smoothing and pull out any little bits of negative energy we see left. And then rest. You're going to need plenty of sleep after this ordeal. Alright? Right on. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this crystal here. I'm going to hold it up very close to your face. I won't actually touch your face. And what I'm going to do is just... Direct some positive energy, zap it right into you. You ready? Great.
You should be feeling better already. Just relax and let the healing energy wash through you. very special wand. It looks simple, but it's very powerful. It's been made from a white oak tree. Over 200 years old. we only remove the wood from trees that have already fallen. So there is no sadness or pain inherent in this wand. It's very important for your healing purposes. Of course, if you want a wand for different purposes, you can always chop a tree down and that energy will be in there. But that's sort of an advanced lesson for where you're at right now. What I'm going to do with this wand is uh, sort of the way that you might work a fork in spaghetti. I'm going to twirl this wand into your energy, snag on to the bad stuff, and pull it out. Okay? So just relax and let me pull the bad energy right out. Here we go. So working it in, pulling it out. Working it in and pulling it out. Working it in, pulling it out. Working it in, pulling it out, working it in, pulling it out, working it in. Just a few more. <laughs> Just pulling out all that lousy negative energy you picked up on your little adventure. Most 
mostly cleansed of all the big bad energy that snuck in there. Um, but it's pretty stirred up from the two healings I just did. So I'm going to do some gentle aura smoothing. I'm going to reach over and gently smooth out your aura. Cross your face. Cross your head and your shoulders. And as I smooth it out, I'll go ahead and if I see any little residual bits of bad energy in there, I'll go ahead and pull those out. While I'm doing this, you should find yourself starting to get drowsy. Once you start getting drowsy, you should go ahead and fall right asleep. Because like I said, you're going to need plenty of rest. Okay? So I'm going to be smoothing. Smoothing out your aura, pulling out any bad energy, and towards the end, I'll start counting you down. I'll start at 37, I'll count down to 1, and you should be fast asleep by then. Sound good? Right on. Okay. Now, just relax. It's okay. You've been through a lot. But you're safe now. You're back with us. Nothing too bad got to you while you were out. You're healing. You're relaxing. And you're feeling better all the time. It's okay to sleep. We'll keep you safe. Safe while you sleep. It's okay. You're healing. You're safe. You're feeling better and sleepier all the time. I'm going to count down now from 37 to 1. By the time I get down there, you'll be fast asleep in a gentle, safe, healing sleep. Thirty-seven. Thirty-one, 
Two, one. 